Salah Abdeslam, the only surviving suspect from the 2015 Paris attacks, has been imprisoned for 20 years in Belgium over a gunfight that led to his arrest. Abdeslam, 28, and co-defendant Safiya Nayori were convicted of terror-related charges of attempted murder. Ayari, 24, was also given a 20-year sentence. Both fired on officers who raided a flat in Brussels in 2016. He is being held in a jail in France and is due to face trial there over the Paris attacks themselves. Paris attacks, what happened on the night? He had refused to answer questions from the judge in the trial in Brussels, and eventually refused to attend the hearings. Neither he nor Auri, 24, was in court as the verdict was read out on Monday. Both received the maximum 20-year term requested by prosecutors. The judge, Marie-France Kutgen, said that there can be no doubt about the two men's involvement with radicalism. She added, their intention is clear from the nature of the weapons they used, the number of bullets they fired and the nature of the police officer's wounds. Only the officer's professional response prevented it being worse. What happened during the shootout and its aftermath? On March 15, 2016, Belgian police hunting Abdeslam carried out a raid in the forest area of Brussels. They targeted a flat believing that the suspect, who by then had been on the run for four months, had been there. Damien Grammaticus reports from the scene of the raid. When they moved in they exchanged fire with the three occupants. One of the three was killed and three officers were wounded. Abdeslam and Iari managed to escape, but Abdeslam's fingerprints were found in the flat, confirming his presence there. He was picked up days later in a raid in the nearby Molenbeek area, and later transferred to France. Is Molenbeek a hotbed of extremism? What do we know about Abdeslam? He was born in Brussels from Moroccan parents who also had French nationality. This allowed him to become French himself. He was involved in petty crime in Belgium as a youth, and is believed to have become radicalized along with his brother Salim around 2014. Both then reportedly joined a French-Belgian network linked with the Islamic State group, IS, which later claimed the Paris attacks. The network was involved in both the Paris attacks and bombings that struck the Brussels metro and airport on March 22, 2016, just days after Abdeslam's arrest, killing 35 people. In Monday's ruling, the court denied a request by victims from those attacks that they be regarded as a civil party to the case, saying no link had been established with Abdeslam and Iari.